Hello everyone and welcome to Ask a Physicist. Um, I'm trying something new today, which is that, as you might have noticed, uh, making these episodes seems to take quite a lot of time. So I'm thinking, rather than just answering questions, I'm gonna cover some physics news. Um, perhaps not in much, quite as much detail as the episode, but um, with due explanation. Uh, and what I would like to cover in this um, installment is the recent demonstration of a working tractor beam. Now when I say tractor beam, I literally mean a tractor beam as in science fiction. So we're talking about a beam of light which, instead of repulsing particles, attracts them. Just like in Star Wars. Now to some of you this will probably seem quite counterintuitive. Because if anything, light, or light particles even, carry momentum and should be uh, pushing stuff away, like we'd expect in novel futuristic ideas like solar sails. So the beam of light attracting particles doesn't seem to make any sense. So how do these researchers make it work? Uh, well, the way they do it is actually quite an intricate mechanism. Uh, first of all, well, they use two beams, uh, which are both angled, and they point them at, well, uh, spherical microscopic objects. In this case, uh, polystyrene balls. And what happens in this case is that um, if these beams are set up correctly, set polystyrene balls will um, scatter the light, which is normal, but mostly from the back. So, in other words, two beams are directed at the particle and uh, hit it at both at the front and the back. But, having set up the system correctly, the light will scatter mostly from the back and therefore, um, in order for momentum to be conserved, uh, the particle will have to move forward. A better way is perhaps to think of this in terms of refraction. Uh, let's think of the object of the tractor beam as a spherical object that bends light. In this case, if you angle the two beams correctly, um, the light of the beams will enter um, at uh, the bottom of the sphere and will be bent towards uh, the forward direction and be pointing straight towards the forward direction when it leaves the sphere. This means that there is a greater forwards momentum in the light beam when it leaves the sphere than when it entered it. Uh, accordingly, in order to conserve momentum, the, the sphere would, would have to move in the opposite direction, so towards the beam. And that basically explains how it works. Similar experiments like this happened before, but previously they only captured particles. It didn't pull them all the way towards the beam. So this one is quite new in that respect. And, well, I'm looking forward to what's going to happen in the future. And, well, at the moment, the particles being pulled by the tractor beam are only microscopic and only travel very short distances. I wonder just how big these particles could get and what range um, the beam could have. So um, that is all I have to say on this topic, really. Uh, I hope you found this informative and um, I'm hoping to bring you a new Ask a Physicist news installment uh, next week or so. We'll see how it goes. And of course, a new episode of Ask a Physicist, hopefully also in the near future. Well, uh, until then, um, I hope you have a nice time, and do stay tuned. Uh, bye for now.